guys. It is Sunday. It's, I don't know, as usual. I have no idea what time it is. Um, if I'm looking at the computer, it's Sunday, November 25th, and it's 12.32 p.m. It's lunchtime. I'm editing video. I've been doing postings, working on some new fabric designs for 2019 with Spoonflower. I used my phone to film my conclusions about the rainbow shock reports, which are dry now. And we have some more experimenting to do with that because that's gonna be fun. Um, I've got lots of stuff to do. I'm gonna go hang all these little paintings up somewhere now to get them off my table so I can work on other stuff tomorrow and probably have some lunch is a good idea. That's it for the moment. Mr. B is still hanging in there, uh, grouchy, but he's still with us, so I'll keep you posted. I'll be back. everybody it's Monday morning it is Monday morning November 26th I think I have no idea what time it is it's early ish um, we're headed upstairs with a morning coffee I need to get my daily posting done on the different Facebook groups check YouTube comments that sort of thing and I need to shower and dress and go head out to Fred Meyer, run a couple of errands. Yeah, I've decided, um, hold on, That's it's dark. better. If you're watching this clip, you've seen the other clip, I've decided to do what's called morning pages, only I'm gonna do them at night. I think it better suits me to do it at night, sort of empty my brain of everything that's up there so hopefully I can sleep better. It's a um, journaling concept I've heard of before. I guess there's a book out right now called The Artist's Way that talks about it. It's basically a stream of consciousness writing. For me at least it's not about spelling or punctuation. In fact I don't put any punctuation and my spelling's atrocious so. Uh, um, but you just Keep writing until you fill up three pages, and um, if you have nothing to write about, you write about the fact that you have nothing to write about. Um, and you just empty your brain of all the everything that's up there, um, and it's a good daily practice. I've actually done it in a small amount before, and 
Um, I stopped doing it quite a while ago, so I'm going to pick it up and try doing it again. I probably should get the book The Artist's Way and read it, so that might be on my to-do list at some point. I might check and see if there's a local Barnes & Noble that has it in stock. We'll, find, we'll see. I'll hey be guys, back. alright, so... <sighs> Mr. Bandit, a.k.a. Mr. Sideways, is outside. Um... He's definitely not a happy camper. Typical grouchy old man. He does not like it when he falls asleep on the living room floor and you want to wake him up to put him in his crate for the evening because you want to go to bed. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to go out and run some errands. I've got to go to McCann's and drop off an Etsy um, order. I want to go to Dick Blick and pick up a couple more tubes of gouache. I know, me and gouache. I like acrylic gouache. Who knew? I don't like the watercolor gouache because when I watercolor, I want the transparency, but I like the acrylic gouache. I like to be able to doodle over it, and it's, anyway, I've said it before. I take everything back, Holbein. You have a great product. Um, I'm going to add a couple more tubes to my pastel palette. I want, like, a dark blue. Again, I'm really um, um, inspired by Frenard, and I will link her channel again in the description below. Um, but anyway, we're going to go pick up a couple tubes, and... Um, I have a bunch of other like random stuff that I need, but I'm thinking I might be able to get all of it at Fred Meyer. So um, I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. There is a person behind me in a white car SUV thing. They are evidently in a really big hurry. Uh, yeah, they're so close I can't see their headlights or the front of their car. When you're that close, you're too close. All right, let's get going. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, November 27th. Shouldn't have taken me that long. I am sitting in front of the computer. I was trying to see if I could do it without looking. The answer's no. Um, it is after lunch already. It's like 1.38. I spent the morning, um, what did I spend the morning doing? I don't know, I whittled it away. Um, I spent the morning, talking to the rubber stamp manufacturer working on next week's um next week hi yeah yeah focus 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 <laughs> next year's um stamp designs i'm also working on the stencil designs some fabric over at spoon flower and um some printables which i've only worked on as far as knowing up here what, what i want them to look at i have lots of work to do uh, i also filmed the design team announcement for 2019, which will air here on YouTube on December 1st at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I will be sharing it on social media everywhere to the link. Um, welcome to all the new members. I need to and actually announce it to them that they made the team today. Oh, that's something else to add to my list. I'm also editing uh, the vlog that'll air tomorrow and um, I have to edit said announcement. I have to edit the um, little bit of footage I filmed for the pouring medium comparison between Liquitex and DecoArt, uh, the conclusions after the paintings were all dry. So that will be airing in a separate small video clip here on YouTube. Um, I did film something and the paintings are already hung up uh, in the house and they look really great. I also finished, or I'll maybe finished, this one behind me. I've been sharing it on social media. It went from sort of an ugly duckling to that. I really like the way it's looking. I'm not quite sure it's done yet. I need to let it dry and just like let it sit and simmer. Um, but if it's not done, it's nearly done. I really love the way it looks and it is not at all where I thought it would go, but I love it anyway. Um, I've got some journals on the table I want to work on and of course the requisite taking care of Mr. Bandit and making sure he's doing okay. Uh, I've got to go get the mail and that sort of thing. Um, just hanging out around the house getting stuff done today. That's it. Anyway, nothing ex super exciting, but... I will uh, let you know if something does come up. Um, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. Yes, I almost said Monday. And it's November 28th. I keep wanting to say all morning that it's April. It's really not April. <laughs> it's November. Um, it's just before 9.30 in the morning. That I only know because I was looking at the phone. I have already done my daily postings for the day and obviously I've taken a shower, my hair is wet. Um, had my coffee, had my breakfast, um, 
gotten ready for, you know, work um, later when I get back. I have some filming to do for YouTube and for a couple of Facebook groups and I've got, of course, the ever-present art business paperwork to do. I need to start catching up on receipts and I have some phone calls to make um, for the legal part of moving and buying a new home. And so I need to make some phone calls for that and I need to do something about an umbrella stand. We live in the Pacific Northwest. People are just leaving their wet umbrellas in the entryway, up, leaning up against the wall. It's not cool with me, so anyway. First, I'm gonna go take a walk around the neighborhood. It's only about 30 houses deep, the neighborhood, and I'm gonna take a couple of walks around, um, do a couple of laps, and just enjoy the scenery, get some footage if I can of the beautiful wetlands that the um, HOA owns here in our neighborhood, and yeah trying to get back into a normal routine. So yeah, um, we'll see how far I get. All right, I'll be back. Pretty sure it's Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I've been again trying to get a lot of filming and stuff done and having some technical issues, but uh, with editing, <laughs> well, and with the new some of the new equipment. Um, anyway, the new not that not the new equipment, the new room. Getting used to the new room. Anyway, this painting I do think is done. I hung it here in. Uh, one of the downstairs um, halls. This is right next to the kitchen. Um, it doesn't have any clear protective coating on it yet. I will do, um, but for right now, I think it's going to hang right there. I really love the way it looks, and I did paint the edges of the canvas, and yeah, I think it's good to go. I love it. Mr. Bandit is over here inside because it's too cold outside anyway so I am just chilling he doesn't like it when I disappear for too long he likes me to be where he can see or hear me so I guess I'm downstairs for the rest of the evening anyway I'll be back good morning everybody it is Thursday morning it's just before nine o'clock don't get all excited I only know that because I'm upstairs see <laughs> and I was already working on the computer it's November 29th Again, I only know that because I was checking the computer, otherwise I would have no idea, as per usual. Um, I am a running a little bit later than I would like this morning. I was just, I guess I had trouble sleeping last night, so I'm a little tired, but, <coughs> excuse me, I did get my coffee in, I've had my breakfast, um, I've done all my daily postings this morning. I'm going to go downstairs and do the dishes, get dressed, go for my daily walk, run a few errands. And that sort of thing. I am here home alone. Husband's at the office today. Tomorrow he's working from home, but I don't know if I've told you all publicly, but since we moved into the house, um, in the whether you believe in an afterlife or not, take it for what it is, and you can feel free to think I'm just completely a nut job. That's fine. Um, in the old house, I definitely had um, deceased friends and relatives that paid visits. And um, some of it was caught um, on camera, so to speak, when I was talking to uh, friends on Zoom, one in particular, Cindy Utter. You can all ask her about it someday, um, which was my grandmother. Um, we've had our share of incidents here at the new house. I'm pretty sure there are people that have followed us and not anything to do with the house because we've had the house blessed and cleared. That being said, we have this male voice it sounds like an answering machine, <laughs> you know, automated electronic mail voice, only we don't have a landline, we don't have an answering machine. Yeah, I've been hearing it this morning because I didn't know what it is, so yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know where to go with that. 
Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go get dressed. I'm gonna go get my errands done, get some walking around the neighborhood. I'm gonna start a couple new canvases. I have these behind me. There's three of these. I did these as part of a life book project, I don't know, three or four years ago. Um, Tamara Laporte did an art journal page like this and I decided to do it on canvas after seeing Peta Thompson doing it on canvas, Miss Lady Petal here on YouTube. And anyway, um, I did three of them, which was great in the old house. I kind of need two more because I've got this adjacent wall there going up the rest of the staircase. I kind of need two more to have it like go up the staircase. So I'm going to try to, I want to use the word replicate, but I'm going to try to do two more of them that are similar enough that they work with the old ones. And um, hopefully I remember what colors I used, what collage papers are in the background, or have something that's similar enough. Um, I'm going to just use what I have and we'll see what happens. And one of them looks crooked. So I don't know if that's the way I'm standing or if it's actually, I think it's actually crooked. So I don't have to fix that. Anyway, um, so I'm going to be starting on those today. So um, they're going to take, I don't know, a couple weeks probably to get finished. So I'll let you know how it progresses. And I also have um, a project I started yesterday for my creative year 2019 I need to finish. So, yep, that's going to be my day. And keeping an eye on Mr. B. It is going to be a little chillier today than it's been, and we're headed towards snow season. Uh, we don't get tons of snow here, but we do get, um, it does get colder um, by about 10 degrees or so. Um, than it did in California during this time of the year. So I have been bringing him in a lot earlier than we did in California. So I'll, I'll be doing that, keeping an eye on him. And when I have to come upstairs, I'm gonna have to crate him because otherwise he just wanders around downstairs looking for his people. Because, you know, he wants to be with his people. I don't blame him, but you know, I got stuff to do. <laughs> All right, that's it for right now. I'll Good be morning. Back. All right, so. I am walking a bill down to the mailbox and then I've got to go run a bunch of errands this morning. It is a beautiful crisp day here in Oregon and uh, yeah, I need to send out an email this morning asking a couple questions of our HOA president but um, other than that I evidently forgot to buy any of the drinks that we need. Um, at the grocery store yesterday, so I'm headed back there. I also for some reason am out of matte Liquitex matte medium I'm not even sure how that's possible But I am out So anyway, I'll be back
In the bedroom? Good morning, everybody. Technically, it's still morning because it's not noon yet. It's Saturday, December 1st. I only know that because it's almost lunchtime and I've already checked the computer a couple times and been tagged in a whole bunch of December 1st posts. Uh, the husband is back there trying to do some DIY for me. He put up some films on some of the windows where the light is just obnoxious in the afternoon. I tried, but I suck at it, evidently. So, I don't know. We're just having a quiet day. We're doing some DIY around the house. We need to go to the hardware store and um, we're going to probably get some takeout for dinner again, try a different restaurant. We're going to try to do a DIY cosmetic upgrade to the ugly ceiling fan in the master bedroom that also isn't very bright. If it works, I'll let you all know. I'll post something on social media and include a picture here if it works. If there's no picture, it's because it didn't work. <laughs> um, I'll let you know what the results are. Anyway, we took the ugly little amber shades off the fixture and the light bulbs out. We're going to go get some brighter bulbs and see if we can find a pretty bulb you know, like an Edison style bulb and maybe not put the shades back on. So we'll see. Anyway, that's it for right now. We'll be back. Hey guys, so I forgot to film the ending last night for last week's vlog. Again, it's Sunday afternoon. It's been a week full of ups and downs, which I'll explain in next week's vlog. Um, anyway, I hope you've all had a great one. Don't forget to get, uh, check out the video description for links to any relevant places, people, or things, including Gustav. So if you're watching this, you've seen the uh, pictures of that. We had a really great dinner out last night um, at a really great local German restaurant. And I will link their website. They have, I think, three locations or four locations. So anyway, really great food, really great service. I definitely would recommend. Um, check the, uh, the video description also out for my tip jar if you want to support the content on this channel and over on Facebook in the Facebook groups um, and any other relevant links, places to find me, all that jazz. Um, anyway, um, I hope you've all had a great one and that you have are, are having a great December. Um, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe do something nice for somebody else because they probably deserve it too. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.